One bitterly cold morning shortly after Henry's accident, Thomas and Percy were at the sheds. A bitter wind blew, and the ground was as hard as a rock with frost. The firelight is late, I'm freezing, I want the warm boiler. It's not late, they woke up because of the cold weather. Percy shivered as snow lightly drifted down to the ground. Let's talk about something nice to take our minds off the cold weather. <laughs> like how icicles are gonna hang from all the buffers in the cold. That's not funny. How about warm things like sunshine and steam? Or violators. Or scarves. Scarves? Scarves. That's just what you need, Percy. A nice woolly scarf right, right, wrapped around your funnel. Thomas was saying this in jest. But Percy took it seriously. He thought happily about scars until the firelighter came. For the next several days, Percy went on and on about scars. I want to scarf! I want to scarf! I want to scarf! Rubbish, Percy! Engines don't wear scars! Engines with copper funnels do, but you've only got your short one! One morning, a few weeks after the beginning of Percy's scarf obsession, the fat director stood on the platform with some very important visitors. He felt a bit awkward for his good pants were in a trunk being loaded onto the train. At the same time, Percy came up quietly as he could to scare the coaches on the other side of the station. He was so quiet that the guard moving the luggage across the tracks didn't hear him, and with a loud crash, Percy rolled over the cart. Boxes of jam went all over Percy, the fat directors, and the VIPs. Sticky streams of jelly ran down Percy's running board. The fat director's top hat hung from his lamp iron, and a pair of pants were wrapped around his funnel, like a scarf. Percy, what in the world are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Look at this mesh. Why, I'm sir. Can you guess whose trousers those are? Oh, no. Mmm, yes. You shall go to your shed and get clean. Never pull a prank on the coaches again. Oh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You press the shuttle off to the shed. When James arrived, he laughed at the jam-covered Percy. So, Percy, you found a scarf, but legs go in trousers, not funnels. Percy was most embarrassed. That evening, Thomas and Percy sat at the sheds. Percy's driver had taken off the trousers and hosed off the jam. It's supposed to be warm tomorrow, so you won't need scarves, Percy. Engines don't wear scars. Engines need warm boilers. Everyone knows that. 